Sam writes in, Dear Miss Candy Manners, how did you get to be a candy etiquette expert? Were you polite your whole life? Do you eat a lot of candy? What's your favorite candy? Do you eat your candy with a fork and knife, even if it's just a peanut M&M? Don't you hate when it goes flying off your plate while you're trying to stab it with a fork? What's your favorite soda? Do you ever laugh so hard the soda comes out your nose? <clears throat> Dear Sam, you ask a lot of stupid questions. This is Miss Candy Manners for Candy Fun House. Sweet times live here. Jane writes in, Dear Miss Candy Manners, what kind of Kit Kat bars should I serve at my party? Jane, you ignorant nut. You sound like the kind of person who would make guests bring their own beverages, so it's impossible to predict which Kit Kat would go best. That reminds me of a story. I, Miss Candy Manners, had a friend who bought a Kit Kat at a corner liquor store. When she unwrapped it, it was covered in little worms peeking their heads in and out of the holes they ate in the chocolate. It just goes to show, it's always something. If it's not a Kit Kat party, it's a liquor store selling worms. That's a good reminder to buy your candy fresh from a reputable candy dealer. This is Miss Candy Manners for Candy Fun House, a reputable candy dealer. Sweet times live here. Sam writes in, Dear Miss Candy Manners, you may be an etiquette expert, but will you marry me? Dear Sam, you're an idiot. This is Miss Candy Manners for Candy Fun House. Sweet times live here. Charlotte writes in, <clears throat> Dear Miss Candy Manners, if a chief candy officer arrests me, what should I do? Dear Charlotte, chief candy officers are all about fun and do not arrest people. That reminds me of the time I, Miss Candy Manners, accidentally dropped a candy wrapper on the sidewalk. Wouldn't you know it, it got stuck to the bottom of a policeman's shoe. The more he walked, the more it sounded as if someone were following him. So he kept turning around and looking behind him, all paranoid-like. I wanted to shout, Hey, officer, take that candy wrapper off your shoe! But I didn't want to embarrass him. So I walked up to him and got real close and stepped on the candy wrapper to get it off his shoe. Being uncomfortably close like that, I struck up a conversation and offered the officer some candy. The next thing I know, I'm being arrested. Me, Miss Candy Manners. It just goes to show, it's always something. If you're not a chief candy officer, you're an officer with a candy wrapper stuck to your shoe. That's a good reminder to dispose of candy wrappers responsibly. This is Miss Candy Manners for Candy Fun House. Sweet times live here. Sam writes in, <clears throat> Dear Miss Candy Manners, what's the best candy to eat on the playground? <sighs> Dear Sam, Hello? Hello, Sam. How did you get this number? Why, yes, I was just about to crumple up your question and toss it away. All right, I'll let everyone know. <clears throat> Sam recommends that everyone eat recess pieces on the playground. This is Miss Candy Manners for Candy Fun House. Sweet times live here. Robert writes in, Dear Miss Candy Manners, my name is Robert. I live in Vermont and eat only the heads off chocolate bunnies. I feel guilty for being wasteful and I'm not getting my money's worth. If I donate the carcasses to the homeless, is it tax deductible? 
Dear Robert, not tax deductible, but a kind gesture. The homeless are enterprising and let the carcasses get all melty in the sun, then reform them into more bunny heads. Apparently you're not that clever and treat chocolate like rubbish. It just goes to show it's always something. If it's not some spoiled brat throwing away candy in Vermont, it's a resourceful, down-on-his-luck guy in a tent nibbling on chocolate bunny ears. That's a good reminder that kindness is its own reward, and candy is kindness. This is Miss Candy Manners for Candy Funhouse. Sweet times live here.